Hi, how is everyone? Actually, let's let's go here. Fine, we'll go here. <laughs> Muted? Am I actually? I don't think I am. We're gonna build the Ginkgo Pro. So this is the new iteration of the Ginkgo 65, and we are building it with these brand new switches from Dang Cubes. These are tactiles. They do come pre-lubricated. I have also lubricated them because I like my tactiles heavily lubricated. For tactiles, heavily lubricated. Pitchforks! Can't be an angry mob without pitchforks! I'm excited to hear those switches. Yeah, they are brand, brand new. Uh, they're available for pre-order, but I don't even think you can like, like they're not in stock yet. So I'm excited to share them with you. We need to have like a moment for the ass on this. Are, what? Who? Huh? God damn. I am not usually an aluminum plate person. However, however, maybe this one's. Uh, so this is a prototype. This is not the same as end units in a couple of ways. Uh, for one, I have been asked to tape up the flex cuts on this PCB because they are not actually going to be shipping with flex cuts on the PCB. Uh, they are going to be shipping with a non-flex cutted PCB for this particular one. I told them that just taping the flex cuts shut like wouldn't actually show you guys what it would sound like without flex cuts, but they said Please do it anyway, so I'm doing it anyway, but like fair- I'm, I will say this again, it's not gonna be the same. Uh, the other thing too, there's like some small changes, so I won't say M1, it'll have like another engraving of a ginkgo leaf above the USB-C. I think that's all they told me, so if there's anything else, I'm so sorry, I tried to hit on everything. I'm gonna have to get the, kick this cat out. Say goodbye. He can't be with us for this stream. <laughs> normally, normally we let him- oh, I know, I know. Say goodbye! Bye-bye! Normally we let Niso kick around, but we just can't today. There's no, we have too little time to get too much done. All right, let's go ahead and tape up our flex cuts. Now I'm gonna use my thinnest tape that I have for this, so hopefully it won't be like completely like tape modding it, but there's, as you guys can see, there's a lot of flex cuts. <laughs> so there's going to wind up being a lot of tape. And I'm obviously just doing one layer. Oh, we are trying to keep everything pretty much as stock as possible, so I'm using the M1 stabilizers that the kit comes with. And I'm just lubricating them like I would any other, like, next-gen stabilizer, if that makes sense. So I'm not going to lubricate the housings, because I want to hear how it sounds on its own. And I think these are polished well enough that, frankly, that wouldn't help these. And I'm just putting a little bit, not on the crook at all, because again, these are polished enough, I don't think that would help. Just on the ends of the wires. What is a next gen stabilizer? Anything after Duroc came on the scene. Anything with like polished housings. Basically any stabilizer that's over $15 and uh, produced after 2018. Which stabilizers are these? So these are the ones that come with the Ginkgo 65 Pro Kit. Uh, so they are the M1 Studios stabilizers. This is my first time using them, so I'm very interested in seeing how it turns out. So I think we are gonna go with the alu plate for this. I don't wanna put in any foam. We will add foam after the fact if we need it, but I really wanna do as much of a dry run as humanly possible to kind of see the starting point for this board. So something to remember when you're putting switches into a metal plate with leaf springs. Like be enormously careful around those fucking leaf springs. Please, please, I'm begging you. If you bend them enough, it can impede you putting together the case appropriately, which can make it have a really bad sound. Ask me how I know. <laughs> Go ahead, ask. Actually, don't. I, do you guys know what I've discovered recently? You guys are gonna die laughing at me. I have discovered the joy and wonder of juice boxes. Look, I grew up with parents that didn't love me. I didn't get juice box. I've never had a juice box in my life until now. These things are so good. Adult juice boxes? I mean, I don't think, I don't think they're meant for adults seeing how it literally says kids. <laughs> but I'm a kid at heart, damn it. All right, I have to pull up the build guide real quick. 
I had to buy Microsoft Word <laughs> so that I could build this keyboard. Woo. All right, blah, 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 blah. Da 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 da. Okay, so this is like both pour on and sock gasketed. I'll try and like walk you through this as best I can while also kind of figuring it out myself on the fly. Basically, we have these little leaf springs, these little aluminum theme balls that I'm not going to press down, but they they are flexible. And we are going to put on each of these guys a pour on pad on either end. Wait, I'm so confused. All right, so we go pour on on the ends. All right, there is one. All right, I need to put it a little more toward the center. So I'm gonna carefully adjust that. Keep in mind, this is the Proto. They are making a few production adjustments. And so if we run into any issues with this, I'll suggest them to them as production adjustments too. Guys, I'm real nervous about this mounting system. I feel like it could go so wrong so easily. Like if this aluminum makes a noise because it's rattling around, that's not gonna be very nice. Can I just show you guys for a second the build that I'm working off of? If I look lost, look at this. <laughs> this is what I'm like trying to work around, all right? I stick the pour on to the corresponding position of the swan gasket shown, done. Attach the pour on to the gasket nodule as shown in the figure below. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. I am like, is there some amount of pour on I'm missing? Yes! Oh, fucky wucky. Okay, I get it. I use the big pieces that are meant for under to avoid the rattle that I was worried about on top. I missed the second package of gaskets. I only opened the first package. My bad. Okay, fixed. Oh, son of a bitch. Hold on. God damn it, because that covers one of the mounting holes. Where is this supposed to go? Is there like a whole nother thing I'm missing? Oh, there is. So the, so the pour on goes on here. I don't know what side it goes on, but it goes on here. I think it's this side. And the pour on goes like this? Okay. But then where the fuck? The gaskets are gasketed. Huh? At least you could take comfort in the fact that 200 other people in chat are like, what? With this experience as well? Yeah, I mean, the really nice thing about building something so, like, wacky and wild is, is no one's gonna try to backseat me. <laughs> and I could really use all the help I can get. <laughs> so that's a bonus. Okay, so I have these gaskets. <laughs> I have these gaskets. I guess we'll assess. I don't think this uses both. I think it's like a you get to use one or the other type thing depending on how you want it to feel. Yeah. No? Maybe? Okay, okay, I got it. Okay, it is an either or type of situation. So we can either use these ones or these ones. Why don't we try both? Why don't we try one build with these and one build with these? So I'll build both now. There we go. I'm gonna make sure that everything where it's supposed to be, looks all good. Nice, let's put the screws in and then try this, shall we? There we go. All right, there we go. Um, Key set wise, Can and Key sent me over one of their new sets that I think would go perfect with this. Here we go, Galaxy. I think it's gonna look real nice. Ta-da! Isn't this gonna look nice? I feel like this is gonna look real nice. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to take pictures of this. It looks too good not to. So here is the Ginkgo with the new cookies and cream switches from Dang Cubes. These have been lubed with 205 grade zero, very lightly 
And then uh, we have this in an alu plate uh, with no foam anywhere, and we're utilizing the aluminum gaskets. Let's go. What do we think? I think that sounds really nice. I wonder how it would sound with no flex cuts on the PCB. I mean, better, to be honest. It could only get better. It'll probably be a little bit deeper sounding than this. Flex-wise, unfortunately, our side camera is out of commission. So I'm just gonna have to do this really jank and show you this way. There's a decent amount of flex. It's not huge, though. I don't think that's bad. So here we go. This is it with those silicon poron uh, mixed gaskets. The board does sound a little bit muted just because there's not a lot of room underneath the board for the sound to resonate. I don't think it's bad though. Like it's not so quiet that you can't hear a thing. It's just not a board like the Cara or the Dolores, but there's room underneath the PCB for it to kind of build up that sound a little bit. Well, ooh, that sounds really good, though. Yeah, you like it? Yeah, it's very uh, satisfying. It really has a nice, like, doo -doo 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 yeah, it's kind of very donkey. Yeah, it's very uh, bass yeah. bassy, if that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, cool, cool chat. Oh no, the face cam went out. All right, I think that's a sign. I think we gotta stop. All right, I'm gonna leave before any other camera is shut off. I hope you all have a wonderful night, and I am going to get going. Bye.